Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate. Now, I have not made very many commentary videos in a long time. I haven't been as active with rideshare and delivery uh, as I have been in the past. I have started doing delivery again, and I'm doing it on an electric scooter. Now, I say all that to kind of preface that I'm, I'm going to talk about para and the recent video that David, the CEO, put out. Um, I'll put something right here. You can see a screenshot of it. So the video came out yesterday, and then Steve from Rideshare Rodeo, who also works for Para, did a live stream with David, and they talked about it a little bit more, about what's going on, why Para's been up and down lately, and, of course, it's because DoorDash is um, modifying their API so that Para can't get the information that they provide to Dashers. And Roy Will Be Roy was in there, and he made a very interesting comment about how, you know, you're sneaking in their back door to get this information. Um, so, of course, they're kind of going to be upset about doing this. And, and it actually got me to thinking about whether or not Para is, well, let me, let me say this. When DoorDash makes a change, it doesn't just affect Para. It affects other apps like Gridwise as well from getting information about your earnings. I know this because every time I see something about Para saying, hey, uh, we're down, we can't get the information we need, Gridwise will say, hey, we're sorry, we can't get the information. Now, all Gridwise does is pull your pay information. They're not pulling any other information from DoorDash that we know of um, that helps you predict whether or not there's going to be a tip, right? Para has their, trip, uh, their tip predictor, and they have all these other great features um, that I think provide information that Dashers need in order to make an informed decision about the trips that they take. No shade intended here, but is what they are doing, is what Para doing a net good overall for gig workers if DoorDash is just going to continue making all these changes and changing their algorithm and changing the way they display information to drivers? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. I'm, I'm not here to provide answers. I'm, I'm just here kind of asking questions and wondering what you think. Is Para the service that they're providing? And I, again, I think the information that they provide is very valuable. There are some drivers who won't touch it. There are other drivers who say you shouldn't be doing DoorDash without it. And there are people like me who are kind of in the middle. Um, I, like I said, I haven't really been doing much. I use, I, I did deliveries the other night and, and because I'm on an electric scooter, whether or not I take the delivery, you know, my factors are a little bit different. I'm going to be doing things mostly under two miles. Uh, so, and I can also do it faster than someone in a car can do it. I'm averaging four to five deliveries an hour on an electric scooter. So for me, taking a $5 order or $6 order, you know, th th that's a different factor than if you're in a car, burning gas, have to park. It's going to take you longer in a car than it is for me in an electric scooter to deliver food. So these are kind of all things that factor in to the decision on whether or not to use Para. Now I've, I've had it up and running and I've tried to use it while I'm on my scooter. But, I mean, as it is, I have to pull over to take a look at what DoorDash is offering. So that's kind of an extra screen that I have to go through to look at. And I've done it, but I've actually found that I can pick out the deliveries in my market that are going to be the most beneficial, right? I want the fewest number of items. I want the short trips and things like that. So it's a little bit 
different set of factors for me, a little different set of circumstances because of how I deliver food. It really got me wondering. I think that as dashers, we are entitled to that information. I don't want to use the word entitled. I think that information should be provided to us so we can make an informed decision, right? We should know the full payout. We should know where it's going. We should know whether or not it's ready at the restaurant, right? So all of this information uh, is information that we should be provided as an independent contractor. If we are truly independent contractors, we need as much information as possible in order to make an informed decision. Para helps us get that information. But in doing so, DoorDash then counteracts anything that they're doing, which breaks other apps that gig workers use. So are they benefiting the community as a whole, especially if DoorDash is going to start changing the way they do their out, the way they present information. Now, I can't say for sure whether or not the people that are on Para, if DoorDash is looking at all these people that are using this app and saying, we need to change the way we present the information. I know I've seen some weird things come across the app and it's been months since I started using it again. Things have changed on the app compared to when I was using it before. But if what Para is doing also is negatively affecting other apps that we as gig workers use, do they have a responsibility to the rest of the community and maybe even the rest of these the, these companies that produce these apps to go to them and help them fix the problem that they essentially caused. I don't know what you think about that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm just asking questions. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. And I just want to present this to you. I am not anti-para. Do not come on here and come in my comments and say, oh, you're against para. I am not. You can go look through my videos and see all the videos that I did promoting Para. The only reason I've stopped from I had stopped promoting them is because I wasn't doing delivery. And so the app was kind of useless to me. Um, so I am for what they are doing, but I just wonder if the price that we're paying as gig workers is worth it to get that information. I would love to hear what you have to say. I really do. I want to have a conversation in the comments about this. Uh, I will do my best to respond. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye.